Hallelujah. At this time, I'm going to invite um, Evangelist Pemberton to, to lead us off. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You're on mute. To God be the glory. Great things he has done. Yeah. Hallelujah. Great is the Lord and greatly to be praised in the city of our God, in the mountain of holiness. Beautiful for situation. The joy of the whole earth is Mount Zion. And in this evening we've come together for the very first time in our Zoom Sisters National or International Conference of which we do magnify the Lord tonight for this opportunity, giving God thanks for our national president and all the workers with her to our national Bishop Richards and Pastor M. Richards tonight, greeting in the holy and most precious and wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Truly, this is a privilege. In spite of lockdown, we are not locked out. So we magnify the Lord tonight for this opportunity that we can be on Zoom tonight with our national conference of which we will be joined all over the globe tonight. We are not here to spectate, but we are here and we have come to participate and to glorify and to magnify the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Apparently there are souls who have gone back from the Lord will be drawn back tonight by the word of God. There are those who hasn't yet accepted Jesus Christ. I do hope and trust by the grace of God that souls would be saved to come to know the Lord and save the Jesus Christ for themselves. So as David said, oh, magnify the Lord with me. Come and let us exalt his name together. And so I give God thanks and praise tonight for this privilege. And so I will be calling on the music ministry for praise and worship, 15 minutes in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise everybody. everybody. Praise the Lord, praise God. to 
Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Let us unmute and give God thanks for brother. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 We are going to have two minutes of housekeeping slides by missionary H. Barrett in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Welcome to our annual National Sisters Conference UK. My name's already been announced. I'm missionary Hazel Barrett. Thank you for taking the time to switch your devices on and joining us this evening. Before we continue with the rest of the conference today, I'd like to share some housekeeping logistics with everyone. So there should be a slide up. Wonderful. So the slide on the screen will help you to navigate and give clear guidance on using your device throughout the service. We've been using it for so long that most of us already know most of this. Um, so dependent on which device you're on, you can click the square box on the upper right hand corner and that will allow you to see the full view, gallery view. So that will enable you to scroll through and see who's on. To have a large picture of whoever's speaking or doing whatever they're doing, click on speak of you and you'll be able to see them large on your screen. If you're taking part in the service, I will ask you at this point, please remember to rename your device with your name so that we know who is online. On the lower left side of your device, there's a mute button, which we'd love you to be acquainted with, unless directed to speak or the moderator asks us all to unmute. It's a service and we want you to enjoy the service and praise the Lord, but please keep muted for the rest of the time. So next to it, you'll see the video sign. And I'm sure that whoever's speaking or doing whatever it is they're doing, they would love to see your lovely faces. The countenance of one lightens the other. 
So because we're recording, we're going to ask you not to say, can you hear me? There's a whole hosting team who will ask you whether or not, um, who will actually say that, you know, if you get stuck, we're here to help you. Help is at hand. So lastly, the next slide shows you how you can make a voluntary contribution. One, you can send a check made payable to Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic. Send it to 778 Prince of Wales Road, Darnall, Sheffield, UK, S94EU. Two, you can do a bank transfer. The details for the HSBC bank are on the poster. Three, you can use that neat little app, Tidely. If you download the app now, if you haven't got it, it will save you time later on. You can create an account on your electronic device. If you search for Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Darnall, SHF, S94EU, National Sisters Conference 2021 UK. If you can't see that, but you can see the name and address of the church and you can see general offering, donate to that one. We want you to definitely give your contribution. Fourthly, you can give in the sanctuary in person tomorrow, God willing. May God bless us all as we enjoy the National Sisters Conference UK. I now hand over to our first moderator, Pastor Pemberton. God bless you. Praise bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. Bless God. Bless we God. praise God. Thank you very much, missionary Barrett, in Jesus' name. And I'll just move on to our next, um, which is hymnal song by missionary L. Brooks. We'll have our hymnal song from missionary L. Brooks in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Bless God. Bless God. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh, Lord. I had searched for life's meaning, enslaved by the world and my greed. Then the door of my prison was opened by love, for the ransom was Head, I was free. I am free from the fear of tomorrow. I am free from the guilt of the past. For I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free, praise the Lord, free at last. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I am free from the guilt that I carried from the dull, empty life I'm set free for when i met jesus he made me complete he forgot the foolish child i used to be Sing that song hallelujah i am free from the fear of Tomorrow, I am free from the guilt of the past. For I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free. Praise the Lord free at last. For I've traded my shackles for a glorious song. I am free. Praise the Lord free at last. For I've traded my 
my shackles, hallelujah, for a glorious song. I am free, praise the Lord, free at last, hallelujah. Praise hallelujah. the Lord. Thank you. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Let's unmute. Hallelujah. Let's hallelujah. Unmute and give Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Wonderful song. Oh, we had hallelujah. all created yeah. our sorrows for a glorious song. And tonight yeah. we are free. We are free at last. Yeah. Oh, let's give God thanks and let us give him praise. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. We Jesus. are free at last. Jesus Christ has yes. set us Hallelujah. free. We yes. are no longer bound. No more chains holding us. Glory be to God in Jesus' name. We are free. Free at last. Thank you, Lord. Let us put our hands together. Yes. Thank and let us give God thanks God. and praise. Hallelujah. It is worthy to be praised. We are free. Thank free at last. Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you and thank you very much, Missionary Brooks, in Jesus' name. At this time, we are going into the reading of the Holy Word of God. We're going to ask Evangelist Johnson for our scripture reading tonight which is taken from the book of Isaiah, chapter 60, verse 1 to 22. Evangelist G. Johnson, our scripture reading in Jesus' name. Arise, shine, for thy light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee. For, behold, the darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people. But the Lord shall arise upon thee, and his glory shall be seen upon thee. And the Gentiles shall come to thy light, and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lift up thine eyes round about, and see. All they gather themselves together, they come to thee. Thy sons shall come from far, and thy daughters shall be nursed at thy side. Then thou shalt see and flow together, and thine heart shall fear and be enlarged, because the abundance of the sea shall be converted unto thee. The forces of the Gentiles shall come unto thee. The multitude of camels shall cover thee. The dromedaries of Midian and Ephah and all they from Sheba shall come. They shall bring gold and incense, and they shall show forth the praises of the Lord. All the flocks of Kedar shall be gathered together unto thee. The rams of Nebaioth shall minister unto thee. They shall come up with acceptance on mine altar, and I will glorify the house of my glory. Who are these? that fly as a cloud and as the doves to their windows? Surely the isles shall wait for me and the ships of Tarshish first to bring thy sons from far, their silver and their gold with them unto the name of the Lord thy God and to the Holy One of Israel because he hath glorified thee. And the sons of strangers shall build up thy walls, and their kings shall minister unto thee. For in my wrath I smote thee, but in my favor have I had mercy on thee. Therefore thy gates shall be open continually, they shall not be shut day nor night, that men may bring unto thee the forces of the Gentiles, and that their kings may be brought. For the nation and kingdom that will not serve thee shall perish. Yea, those nations shall be utterly wasted. The glory of Lebanon shall come unto thee. The fir tree, the pine tree, and the box together to beautify the place of my sanctuary, and I will make the place of my feet glorious. The sons of them that afflicted thee shall come bending unto thee. And all they that despise thee shall bow themselves down at the soles of thy feet. And they shall call thee 
the city of the Lord, the Zion of the Holy One of Israel. Whereas hast thou been forsaken and hated, so that no man, no man went through thee, I will make thee an eternal excellency, a joy of many generations. Thou shalt also suck the milk of the Gentiles, and shalt suck the breast of kings. And thou shalt know that I, the Lord, am thy saviour, and thy redeemer, the mighty one of Jacob. For brass, I will bring gold, and for iron, I will bring silver, and for wood brass, and for stones iron. I will also make thy officers peace, and thine exactors righteousness. Violence shall no more be heard in thy land, wasting nor destruction within thy borders. But thou shalt call thy walls salvation and thy gates praise. The sun shall no more thy light by, thy light by day, neither for brightness shall the moon give light unto thee. But the Lord shall be unto thee an everlasting light and thy God thy glory. The sun shall no more go down, neither shall the, thy moon withdraw itself. For the Lord shall be thine everlasting light, and the days of thy mourning shall be ended. Thy people also shall be all righteous. They shall inherit the land forever. The branch of my planting, the work of my hands, that I may be glorified. A little one shall become a thousand, and a small one a strong nation. I, the Lord, will hasten it in his time. This is the reading of the word of God. May add his richest blessings in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord. Praise, praise the, Lord, the Lord. Praise the Lord. Evangelist Amen. Johnston. Amen. Such a wonderful reading of God's holy word. Amen. And so we give God thanks tonight for the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. So we give God thanks tonight for the reading of his holy words. And at this time, we are going to go into prayer, of which we'll be asking evangelist Mel Thorpe for prayer in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everybody. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Glory be to God. Hallelujah. When peace like a river attended my way, Hallelujah, God, glory. When sorrow like sea billows roll, whatever my lot, thou hast taught me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul. Heavenly Father, thank you, dear God, for today. Thank you, Father, for bringing us again to this part of this evening. Thank you, God, for providing for us and making it possible for us to come on this forum today. Lord God, if it had not been for you on our side, where would we be today? Lord God Almighty, thank you. We are coming and we're coming in no other name, but in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. We come asking your blessing. We come asking your help because we of ourselves are no help. We are nothing without you, Lord. And because of this woman conference tonight, this program that's going on, God, we are asking that you take the lead and let us follow. As the good shepherd who looks after the sheep, we are asking for you to take us under your control. And we are asking, Lord Jesus, that you send fresh anointing upon us tonight. Anoint us Amen. afresh from the crown of our head to the sole of our feet. Anoint every speaker on the forum tonight. Father God, let self be crucified and let God be glorified. Remember the one that you're going to speak to as your vessel to bring forth the word. Let your people heart be, oh God, fertile to receive the word of God so that when we come off the forum, we can say, Lord, it is good for us to have been here. You have spoken. Even to say, thus saith the Lord, it is well done, God. 
Holy Spirit, we invite you to come. Take control in the name of Jesus because we can do nothing, nothing without you. We need your fresh anointing tonight. In the name of Jesus, break down what needs to be break down. Pull down what needs to be pulled down. Pull up, pluck up, whatever it is. Search every heart, Lord, on the forum and let your will and your will alone be done in the mighty name of Jesus. Holy God, thank you for your settled peace. We need your peace in Jesus' name. Amen. I ask tonight, Lord God, that you take control. Bless, oh God, again, sanctify, protect, and keep us all. Protect and keep our families in the name of Jesus. Those that are worried and troubled, whatever it be, we leave it in the hand of God. Your grace and mercy, you said, is sufficient for us. And therefore tonight, Lord, we are asking for you to pour it out upon us. Thank you again for making us hears, hears of Christ, joint tears with you as we travel along. Father, revive us again. Touch us again. Fill us, oh God, to overflowing. I am depending on you tonight, Lord. As you do thou for us, we shall be say it was good for us to be here. It was good for us, Lord, that you made it possible for us to be together again Another year, God, my father, in this woman's conference. Thank you, Jesus, for every speaker, for everything that is going to be said and done to the glory and to the honor of your mighty name. In Jesus' name and for Jesus' holy sake, I call it done. Thank Amen. you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus, hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your word, Lord. Your word. Your word, God. Pastor Pemberson, please unmute. Hallelujah, hallelujah. We bless your name, Jesus. We bless your name. Hallelujah. Let's just give God a praise. Hallelujah. Let's Thank keep you. worship him. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy hallelujah. To Thank hallelujah. You. Bless the Lord. The glory, glory to God. God. Hallelujah. God glory. Great things he has done. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Here. But we give God thanks tonight for this far and the next person voice you will be hearing is in the person of evangelist Bligen in Jesus name receive her praise the Lord hallelujah praise hallelujah the Lord. Lord. thank you hallelujah. Jesus thank you praise the Lord, Lord oh my soul and all that is within me bless his holy name just give the Lord a wave where you are hallelujah, hallelujah. the Lord is good is worthy to be praised there is no one like unto him hallelujah tonight i just greet you all in the wonderful name of our lord and savior jesus christ our topic tonight arise daughters of zion and i welcome you to this conference um in jesus name bless the lord i'd just like to take the time out to do some greetings so that um, saving you the time, do, saying all the names and acknowledging everyone. So um, I know some people might not be here, but I'm still gonna greet them in their absence. So greetings to our international presider, Dr. W.G. McCoy, and the deputy presider, Dr. Uh, A. Brett, our general secretary, Dr. B. Hibbert, all the bishops, our national coordinator, Pastor M. Richards, and our national presider, Dr. Bishop Richards, our national sisters president, Evangelist M. Green, our national vice president, Evangelist S. Gray, 
Our first moderator in the person of Pastor Jay Pemberton. Greetings to all the sisters, presidents, wherever you are, greetings, greetings. To all the brothers, the brethren, our visitors, friends, our international women's president, evangelist, D. Hector, and our executive team, and just each and every one tonight, I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. It is good to be together tonight in another sister's conference. If you're Amen. feeling good, just wave your hand for the Lord tonight. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Just worship him where you are. Hallelujah. We give the Lord thanks tonight. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. At this time, we're just going to have a greeting and welcome from our national bishop, Dr. C.T. Richards, in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, everyone. We must first give honor to the Spirit of God and to all the saints that are on Greetings in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. And I must, amen, at this time, take time out to, to greet our National Sisters Pres President, Evangelist Green and the Vice President, also Evangelist Gray and our Secretary, Evangelist Legend, and our Coordinator, uh, Pastor Richards. I give God thanks this evening for all things and I must say welcome again to uh, our National Sisters Conference and I'm sure that the Lord will bless us mightily in all that you are doing. I just looked at the topic that we have arise daughter of Zion and I'm sure that in a time like this it's time that we not only the sisters it is time that every one of us arise, amen, to the place that God has called us and to do the things that God requires of us. And so this evening, welcome again, amen, to uh, England. May I say this, to the UK in this meeting, and I'm sure that you will be blessed and I will be blessed and everyone that is on will be blessed because I know that this is going to be a blessing, amen. And as we go and listen to the word, I'm sure that God will bless us mightily together. So let us put our hearts, our minds, our thoughts, and our desires together as we worship in this forum, in this Sisters National Conference. God bless you, and the Lord keep you in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Thank you, Bishop, uh, for your welcome and your greeting. At this time, we're going to have a greeting from uh, Bishop Palmer in Jesus' name. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Amen. Holy greetings in the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. I give God thanks for this, another day of grace and an opportunity to be able to share in this Women's National Service. Greetings to, amen. I will just you greet them everywhere they already, so let me not go over that. Amen, bless the Lord. It's a blessed thing to be able to, amen, to be into another service. Um, as you know, today, amen, we would have been driving from places to places to get to a certain location, but because of circumstances, we are all in our home but we are able to share in this service. I'm sure tonight we're going to be blessed. Amen. Bless the Lord. I know this amen, young lady amen. was way down, you know, and she come up, she come up. Some of you don't really hear her really, but she's a fire. Amen. And she's going to burn tonight. So, amen. So God bless you. Have a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Praise Thank God. you, Jesus. Thank you, Bishop Palmer. Yes, we are. We are going to be worshiping the Lord tonight. We started off in such a good way with our praise and worship team. And let us continue to worship the Lord. I'm not sure if um, 
our international presiding bishop is on because uh, there's another service also. So uh, um, I'm not sure that he's on because I've just looked, I've not seen him. So uh, we'll just move on and we're just going to have a greeting now from our um, president of Sheffield Women's Department in the person of Miss Missionary Julia Curry in Jesus name. Could you unmute, please, Missionary Curry? Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> it's a grand and glorious feeling just to be a child of God. I'm just so glad to be alive and to be in this, another sister's conference in this forum. We give our thanks for his blessing. It's all about Jesus tonight. Give thanks for all his goodness towards us. As daughter of Zion, we're supposed to be happy knowing that King Jesus is coming back for his people. And we give God thanks because he's a great, great, wonderful God. And arise, we've got to spring up and do the work that the Lord has assigned us to do. God has been really, really good to us, knowing that we are in higher heights and deeper depths. We've got to climb up and be vigilant, watchful, and so be so watchful unto prayer. God bless you all. Continue to pray my strength in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Lord. Thank you, uh, Missionary Curry. At this time, we'll go straight over to Birmingham and we'll have Evangelist Sharon Stevens in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise God. Praise God. I think the greeting has already gone through already. Praise God. But I just like to sing one chorus, if you don't mind. Praise God. I was a wanderer out in the wilderness, far away, far away, when Jesus sought me with tender love. Happy day, oh happy day, I was a wanderer out in the wilderness. Far away, oh, far away, when Jesus sought me with tenderness. Oh, happy day, oh, happy day. Praise the Lord, praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Was a wanderer, was a wanderer Amen. out in the wilderness, far away. Well, thank be to God, hallelujah. Jesus sought me with such tender love. Happy day, happy day. That's why the scripture is telling me to arise. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. I need to go move up a little higher. Praise God. Yes. We, God set us on earth here. Praise God. To show his glory among people. Praise God. And we need to rise. Hallelujah. To our occasion. We are God of us. We have a duty to perform. And God has a Give, give us this promise, praise God, that he will never leave us alone, praise God. When God appeared to us, the glory of the Lord risen upon us. When God appeared for us, then the glory is seen in us. You pray for me in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Evangelist Stevens. At this time, I'd just like to welcome um, Lancaster Emmanuel Apostolic uh, in Jamaica and representing that church today will be Evangelist Leota Vassal, who will be singing for us. But I just want to welcome all the saints from that church where the pastor is, Pastor M. Thompson. So welcome to you all. And at this time, we'll have Evangelist Leota Vassal representing Lancaster Emmanuel Apostolic, but living in the United States. She'll be singing for us with her husband in Jesus' name. Praise God.
to thee, my blessed Savior. Hallelujah. I surrender all. Thank you, uh, Evangelist Leota and husband for such beautiful songs. God is so good tonight, and we will just have to trust him and surrender all to him. Bless the Lord at this time. Without any further further hesitation, I'm going to hand over to our president in the person of Evangelist M. Green in Jesus' name. God bless you all. Hallelujah. Come on and give him a praise. Come on and worship the Lord. Hallelujah. He has to us. We bless his name. We bless his name. We bless his name. Are there any grateful hearts tonight? Are any grateful person want to give God a praise? Yes. Hallelujah. Thank we bless his name. We bless his name. God has been born. Has it been good to you? you and the presence yes. of the Lord is you, on the platform. Yes, and I yes, hope it's Lord. in your the house. Lord I hope it's where you are at. Hallelujah. For the presence Hallelujah. of the Lord is here. Thank I you, can Jesus. feel him in Hallelujah. the atmosphere. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To God be the glory. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. It's my honor to greet all in the matchless name of Jesus Christ. Welcome, 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 welcome to you all that are joining online tonight in the name of Jesus. It's truly an honor and I want to greet our national bishop, Dr. C.T. Richards. I greet you in Jesus' name. Bishop Palmer, I greet you. Bishop Raymond Williams is online. I greet you, sir, in the matchless name of Jesus. All our elders, ministers, saints, everyone, I greet you in the name of Jesus. All our women's presidents, I greet you, and vice presidents, and everyone, I believe our international president, women's president, may also be online. I haven't seen her yet, but she should be online. I want to greet her. Evangelist Diane Hector, we will hear from her later, hallelujah. But greetings one and all in the matchless name of Jesus. I want to also give special recognition and honor to my pastor, Reverend E.J. Ferguson, hallelujah, who has been our leader and instrumental in leading the woman, the woman's national group in London. And I really want to give God thanks for her tonight. Without our leadership, I would not be here. And I also want to acknowledge our national coordinator, Pastor Mother Richards, hallelujah, who has been a backbone and stability behind the national sisters. Hallelujah. Let's bless God for his leaders. Hallelujah. 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 God, hallelujah. We bless God. We bless God. As the prayer went up, we are praying for a fresh anointing. And saints, I'm saying to you tonight, do not spectate. Get in and get what you can from the presence of the Lord. Because the presence of the Lord is here. The presence of the Lord is here. I can feel him in the atmosphere. So worship the Lord where you are. Bless his name for the Lord is good and his mercy is everlasting and his truth endureth to all generations. So feel welcome one and all, Jamaica, United States, Canada, wherever you are, be, feel free to worship God in the beauty of holiness. God bless you as we continue with our program in Jesus name. And we're gonna hear from some of our other presidents tonight. And I'm gonna invite Sister Arlene Harper from Bradford to greet us in Jesus name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise God. Each and every one, saints, I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thanking God for this privilege Praise God, thanking God for life, that we can come together one more time to give him thanks and to give him praise 
for keeping us, praise God. And the scripture today, you know, it says, daughters of Zion, praise God. And the scripture is saying, arise and shine, for the light has come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. And today, you know, without this light in our life, then we would be sitting in darkness. But I thank God for this wonderful light, this everlasting light that mm. shines, that penetrates, you know, that radiates our heart. To, today, I just want to give God the glory and give him all the praise, knowing that he is the everlasting light, praise God. And in him, there is no darkness. Saints in Christ, you know, the song is, I've got a song here, it says, the Lord saw me standing over on the other side. The Lord saw me standing on the other side of the sea. Then he reached out his arms and caught me over on the other side. The Lord saw me standing, praise be to God. The Lord, our God, is a great and mighty God. You know, saints, let us continue to walk in this light. Say, Jesus is the light of the world, and in him there is no darkness. So daughters of Zion, sons of Zion, let us continue to hold on, you know, to this wonderful light and not go back in darkness because he said, come out from among them and Amen. be separated. Let us stand upon the word of God today you know, and proclaim his word. That he is the light of our salvation. You pray my strength that I continue to walk in this light. In the name of Jesus, we give thanks. Amen. Hallelujah. Bless, Bless the Lord. We thank you. Hallelujah. Lord. Sister Harper, we'll continue to walk in the light. Hallelujah. And at this time, I'm going to ask Evangelist Nikuta Y to greet us from Leeds in Jesus' name. Yeah. <laughs> praise the name of the lord jesus praise god give god the honor and the glory and a praise praise god for another um, national women's conference praise god our topic for today is arise daughters of zion praise the lord jesus praise god the key verse says but the lord shall arise upon thee and his glory shall be seen on thee praise the lord praise god and i just saw um thought of psalm 3 verse 3 where it says um but thou O lord art a shield for me my glory and the lifter up of my head praise god the glory of god will shine upon us like a spotlight revealing his purpose praise god for our lives in the earth he has given us the solution, the remedy that will disperse the darkness that covers the earth. Praise God. And the gross darkness that envelops the people. They are staggering and groping in the darkness, looking for the solution, looking for a way out. But the eyes and heart, their eyes and their hearts are covered in darkness and confusion. Praise God, caused by the lies of the enemy. Praise God, and um, resulting in, in them chasing, praise God, in the shadows. Well, the mm. Lord is saying to us, whom he has put his vision in, praise God, whom he has put his light in, for us to arise and to shine, praise God, because the light of the Lord is in us. Praise God. The Lord will release, praise God, his provision for us if we just arise. Praise God. If we just step out by faith, amen, then everything, praise God, that God has placed in us to be done, it will be done. God bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Thank you, Evangelist White. Hallelujah. Bless God from Leeds, president of the Leeds Women's Sisters um, Department. Let's praise the Lord, everyone. Just give God a praise. Praise, praise the Lord. Praise unmute the Lord. and just give him a praise. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bring us a song in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. Amen. You're on mute. God bless you, everybody. God bless. God bless you. Bye. is calling me to a higher place of praise to stand upon the mountain Hallelujah. and to calling us to a higher place of praise. If ever a time when we need to go higher, it is now. If ever a time we need to arise and go further and deeper, it is now. Jesus, calling us to a higher place of praise in God. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank Hallelujah. You. Hallelujah. Thank you, sisters from the Mount yeah. Church of God in Christ apostolic thank you let's bless the lord everyone let's just give him a praise hallelujah we bless your name god at this time we're going to hear from the president of forest gate in london missionary pearl graham hallelujah Missionary Graham. All right, in the meantime, while we, Missionary Graham gets herself ready, I'm going to go over to London and I'm going to invite our Vice President Evangelist Sherry Gray to greet us in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the name of the Lord. He is worthy of all his praise. I give my highest honor to the Holy Spirit of God, greeting you all in the high and the exalted name of Jesus. Special greetings to our national presiding bishop, Dr. C.T. Richards, and to Pastor Richards, to uh, Bishop Palmer, and to all, all the other bishops, to everybody online today. I greet you today. I'm just giving God thanks for this occasion that we can come together for another national sisters conference earlier on i heard the lady sing the song the sister sing the song 
through it all, I'm learning to trust in Jesus. And the scripture is talking about us arising as daughters of Zion. If the light has come, then we have a responsibility to actually respond to that light that has come. We are the light of the world. We have to go out there and shine. Let us let the glory and the brilliance of the Lord shine upon us. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. I'm not hearing you, brethren. Come on and give God a praise. Bless the name of Jesus. I'm giving him praise. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Psalm 9, it says, I will be glad and rejoice. In thee, Amen. Amen. I will show forth thy praise. Hallelujah. Oh, my God. Can yeah. somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Can somebody give God a praise? Day. That's a physical arising. Hallelujah. God yeah. you to get up. Get up yeah. in your praises. Yeah. Get up in your mentality. Yeah. Get up Hallelujah. out of where you are. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Daughters of Zion. Glory Men of God. Zion. Hallelujah. Arise. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Arise Hallelujah. in his worship. Arise in his worship. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. Jesus, Hallelujah. we bless your name. Hallelujah. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. You know, it's a privilege. I want to take the time to honor even some of our mothers who are not able to be online. And especially, I'm thinking of Mother Palmer from Upper Top Sheffield. She's not able to be alive, but I just want to bless God for her. Let's just give God a praise for her. We pray God for her continual strength and health. All yeah. others who have walked this pathway for a long time, Missionary Campbell, and others I will not be able to name you all. I'm thinking about um, uh, Mother Modest, you know, you know, Evangelist Modest, who was a former National Sisters leader, Evangelist, all those mothers who have paved the way for us younger ones, hallelujah, to be here. We yes. thank God for you, we love you. We thank you that you were there, hallelujah, to pay the way stood in the midst of very hardship. So may the Lord continue to bless you mothers. Hallelujah, in Jesus name. Glory Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. And at this time, I'm gonna invite our, event, our international woman's president in the person of Evangelist Diane Hector to greet us in Jesus name. Praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise, praise the Lord. Praise. Given honor to the spirit of God. I must apologize for not being on camera, but the, the, the flyer came through so late in the day for us, I didn't realize there was a service on today. But we are giving God thanks. I want to greet our dear Bishop C.T. Richards. I am actually on the road, but nevertheless, I still wanted to join. I still wanted to be able to, to, to fellowship with our sisters and Bishop Palmer, Bishop Williams, Pastor Ferguson, all the quorum of ministers and women leadership. We want to just give God thanks on behalf of the International Women Ministry, giving God thanks for just coming together. The fellowship of the saints is such a wonderful thing. Songwriter says, I just came out to give God the glory all the glory for what he has done for us. We are truly in, in a moment where we can arise and shine for the glory of God has been risen in our lives. And we are thankful to him for being such a keeper. He is Amen. such a keeper. He is such a deliverer. He is such a way maker. He is such a good God to us. And because of that, we want to rejoice in the God of our salvation. I am certainly happy that we are together again, magnifying the Lord. And to you, our Madam Moderator and our, in our National President Evangelist Green, I am so happy for the fellowship that we have as sisters. The sisterhood is strong and we want to bask in this full and free salvation. God bless 
bless you. We are praying with you. We are praying for you that we will continue to grow together in grace. God bless you. And I'm looking forward to the word of God in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you. God, it is so good to hear from you. To God be the glory. We continue in unity. We continue in strength. And at this time, I'm going to go to Forest Gate and we'll hear from Missionary Pearl Graham in Jesus' name. Missionary, you're still muted. Hallelujah. Sorry, could you give her help to unmute, please? You probably just sent send her a message to unmute her and send her a message on, on the light. Then. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Oh, While we're sorting out our missionary. Graham's um, device. I'm going to invite Sister Erica to bless us in song in Jesus' name. Sister Erica from the Church in London, in Jesus' name. God bless you, everybody. God bless you. I give my highest honor to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. I give also honor to the host, Bishop, Bishop C.T. Richards, and I give honor to all of the bishops online every elder minister evangelist all the sisters in christ all the brothers who are supporting us tonight in christ and all the visitors i give god the glory today for you in jesus Amen. i just pray that as i minister and i'm just looking at the scripture with regards to us women of god arising and i've realized that without the faithfulness of our savior we wouldn't be able to arise. So I pray that as I minister, great is thy faithfulness, that you will pray with me in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Great is thy faithfulness, O Lord, my Father. Shadow of turning with thee, thou changes not thy compassion, they fail not. Need a 
to me. Pardon for sin and a peace that endureth mine own great presence to cheer and to guide thy strength for today and bright hope for your name god hallelujah we're so thankful and grateful to god for his faithfulness hallelujah let's just give him a prayer yeah. hallelujah. hallelujah thank you hallelujah. we bless you hallelujah. sister hallelujah. Thank, you, thank, you. Thank, you. thank you glory to your name so beautifully hallelujah at this time i'm going to invite and so happy to have online um one of our bishops our international secretary of the cjc um international ministries bishop barrington hibbert I'm going to ask him to greet us at this time in Jesus name. Hallelujah. Greetings evangelist Green, Bishop uh, Richards, Bishop Palmer. Uh, forgive me not showing my face today. I just got home from a funeral and I'm getting ready to preach for another service in the afternoon and I'm not appropriately dressed at the moment, but I like to give God thanks for the opportunity to be here to join you wonderful ladies in this celebration. We give God thanks for what he has done for to God be the glory great things he has done so loved he the world that he gave us his son who yielded his life an atonement for sin and opened the life gate that all may go in i thank god the day when he opened that life gate for me that i a child of hell should in his kingdom shine i have the comforter in my heart and i give god thanks for that i know that god is good to us all he has kept us through the pandemic we're here and I hopefully we're at the tail end of the pandemic. We give God thanks for that. And I really rather hope to see you in England again in person before too long. I miss seeing you guys. May God bless you very richly. Please, please enjoy the rest of the service and may the spirit of God be felt here in a tremendous way. God bless you. 
Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Bishop. It was so good to hear from you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Let's bless the Lord, everyone. Thank, Thank you. you Jesus. And we have Bishop uh, Raymond Williams, who's on, if he's still on. Sir, can you greet us? I think he may be not available at this time. God bless you. Praise the Lord, everyone. God bless you all. Oh, God bless In you, Jesus. Sir. It's great to see you all. Everybody smile then. Praise <laughs> God. It's nice to see you. It's nice. God has been good to us. He has been gracious to us, to the ladies president, to our national bishops, to all the ladies team. I greet you in the precious name of Jesus. Truly God has been gracious towards us. Arise, listen to this, arise, not and shine, just arise, shine. And so it is important for us to just continue Forward still, it is Jehovah's will. Though the billows may dash and spray with a conquering tread, we will push ahead and roll all the seas away. Let us just continue to be faithful and true. God bless you and be a warrior for Christ. God bless you all in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. I'm here to praise the Lord. Saints. I am here to lift him up. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. hallelujah. Worship him. Yes. Hallelujah. Yes, the hallelujah. Is set. Eat what you can, take what you can. Yes, the main course is coming, but dip in and praise God and take what you can. Hallelujah from the service in Jesus' name. And at this time, I'm going to hand over to Elder Orton. We will do our offering in Jesus' name. Can you unmute, please, Elder Orton? Bless the Lord, saints. Bless the Lord. Truly, I greet my pastor, Bishop Richards, with the Richards, all the officers and saints. Special greetings to the women's national presidents and fellow officers. I greet you in the wonderful name of Jesus Christ. I just want to give God thanks for allowing us to be here and having fellowship one with another, praise God. We have a fantastic topic, Arise Daughters of Zion. And today, although we're not near to each other, but we're near because God has brought us together on Zoom. And so we can support each other, we can encourage each other with the word, but most of all, we're here to encourage each other by giving also, praise God. And that's my role tonight, to encourage you to give unto the Lord, praise God. So, You've saved your airfare, you've saved your petrol money, you've saved quite a bit, so now you can give to the Lord with a truly willing heart. And these are the ways to do it, praise God. You can send a check to Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic, 778 Prince of Wales Road, Darnell, Sheffield, S94EU. You can also send by bank transfer to HSBC, so called 404111. Account number 512-14500. You can also send internationally by international bank transfer. The following number is GB07HBUK4041-1151. Five hundred. And lastly, if you have a tidely account on your mobile phone or any electronic thing, you can also give by Tisley. Look up Church of Jesus Christ Apostolic Donald Sheffield and tab on to the National Sisters Conference, which is the general fund. God bless you. Give with a willing heart. Ask God that he will bless this offering now. Jesus Christ, have your divine way in our hearts tonight. Help us to give with a willing heart. Help us to give for your word, Lord Jesus Christ. Help us to give mightily and bountifully, oh God, knowing how you have blessed us over these past few months. We put everything and everyone into your hands tonight as we give you thanks in the name of Jesus Christ. And for Jesus' sake, amen. God bless you in Jesus' name. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm still going to give you, give you some time to sort your um, offering out. I'm going to ask Evangelist Jenny Bentley to sing for us at this time in Jesus' name. Bless the Lord. No, this is a turn of the devil. Me, I, I don't know what's happened to my phone. Bless the Lord. Bless the Lord. <laughs> Thank you. 
you cause the sun to rise and you lay it down to rest you hold this heart of mine and you hold me every breath you're an awesome god so mighty so holy so Such an awesome God, so selfless, so generous, so faithful you are. Seated in majesty, reigning in holiness. The table is set for me, for you are the living bread, such an awesome God, so mighty, so holy, so wonderful, such an awesome God. So selfless, so generous, so faithful you are. And nothing comes close to the Lord Almighty, nothing as sweet as his love and mercy, nothing. Come close to the Lord, almighty nothing, as sweet as his love and mercy, nothing comes close to the Lord, almighty nothing, as sweet as his love and mercy. Comes close to the Lord, Almighty, nothing as sweet as your love and mercy. My son is up on that head. Of God, I'm gonna cross to die, but not even death itself could hold you down. For you rose to life. You're an awesome God. So. So mighty, so wonderful, such an awesome God, so selfless, so generous, so faithful you are, such an awesome God, so mighty. So wonderful, such an awesome God, so selfless, so generous, so faithful you are, such an awesome God. Bless you. Hallelujah, such faithful God. Hallelujah. I am in awe of God, so I'm going to praise God for being faithful tonight. Yes, the word is coming, and I'm just going to 
God, I thank you for being a faithful God. Hallelujah. Yes, hallelujah. Thank you for being such an awesome God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. You are. Hallelujah. 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 I want to thank Evangelist um, Bentley for sharing, rendering such a lovely song to us. Such an awesome God. We thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank God for everything that has, all the greetings, all the songs that's gone on so far. We're here for the word. Hallelujah. We're here at this moment to ask the Lord to come in and speak to us. And before the speaker come, I'm going to invite our bishop, our national bishop, Dr. C.T. Riches, to introduce the speaker at this time in Jesus' name. Let's receive him with a hallelujah. Are we ready for the word? Amen, amen. Amen. That's the Lord. Let us praise the Lord. Let us give praise God some God. praise to God. And he's worthy. He's Thank worthy you. to be praised. Amen. amen. And I'm Hallelujah. sure that the Lord will bless us Thank mightily you, this evening. Bless God. Amen. Just a briefing. Amen for the preacher. I have known the preacher for a number of years. As a young person growing up in the church, and he's very, very dedicated to the work, and also she loved the word of God. Missionary K grew up in church under the pastoral leadership of Reverend E.J. Ferguson. She is one of the original young people. I remember that when I used to visit very often in London. She was one of the original young people with, that started with Reverend E.J. Ferguson and is still with her in the ministry. What's a glorious thing, amen, to understand and to know when one is faithful in the Lord and also faithful to their pastor. Amen. Missionary Walker shares from a heart of passion for the word of God and a love for his word. And so at this time, Please receive her as she comes to us, and I'm sure she will come with a blessing, and that which the Lord has given her, she will share with us this evening. So may the words of her mouth and the meditation of her heart be acceptable unto God, and in turn, I'm sure that our hearts will be blessed. Please receive missionary walker in Jesus' name. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. 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 Can we just come off mute for a minute and just lift up a praise to our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your name great. Hallelujah. 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 Of God, and I just want to pray briefly, Father, in the name which is above every other name, at that name, Jesus, where every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess to the glory of God. Ah, oh, God, I give you thanks even for a time such as today for this conference, God. Holy Spirit, I pray today, God, that you'll incline my ear. Give me Samuel's ears, God, to hear what your spirit will have me to deliver to your people, your blood wash, blood purchased children, God, online today. I pray, God, that I will be a conduit for your word, God. I decrease, God, and you 
you increase, have your way, Spirit of the living God. I pray with God that people's hearts will be ready to receive hunger and thirsting for you because, God, you promised that you will fill us. God, be glorified today, God, as I decrease, God, increase and have your way, sovereign God, as I thank you in Jesus' name. We bless your name today, Lord. Hallelujah. I I lift up the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. I greet you all in the wonderful name of Jesus. Special greetings to Bishop Richard, Bishop Palmer, Bishop Hibberts online, Bishop Raymond Williams, Mother Richards, to the Women's Fellowship, to Evangelist Marcia Green, all of you wonderful women of God, and how can I not but greet my honorable Reverend E.J. Ferguson, my spiritual mother, my leader. She's an awesome woman of God, and I thank God for her. And all the saints, I greet you today in Jesus' name. I just want to give God thanks because his mercies absolutely endure forever. And the word of God that he's given us, it's such a word that is dear to us because we are in the last days. We are in the closing days of time. And God has mandated us as the body of Christ. He's called us daughters of Zion to arise. He's called us to come and take our rightful place so that his will and his kingdom will be established. And he's in, told us today in the book of Isaiah, when I looked in the book of Isaiah, I seen the, the, the pattern of the Israel, like the children of Israel. I saw the pattern where God has helped them and redeemed them and they've fallen. But God is saying to us, in these closing days of time, women of God, women of Zion, men of Zion, it's time for us to arise. He's called us to arise. And when I'm looking at the word of God, if he's told us to arise, that means that we are not in a position. We were not positioned to do what he has called us to do. But he's asking us, he's imploring us, the prophet is imploring us to arise because it's our season the word in ecclesiastes it tells us about there are different times and different seasons there's a time to be born and a time to die a time to sow and a time to reap a time to pluck up that which is planted and this time and this season God is asking us to arise. That, that tells me that we've been in a position of dormancy. It tells me or indicates that we've probably not been where God has called us, doing what he's called us to do. But women of God, men of God, I'm here to encourage us all today. God is patiently waiting for us. There are seasons. There are seasons, and, and I think of the season of winter. When I thought of the scripture and it came to me in, 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 in Isaiah chapter 60, 60, where it tells us, but it reminded me that there are seasons. In the year, there were four seasons. Most of us, if you're like me, you love summer. It's my season. That's the time when I shine. I love the summer. Autumn is not too bad, but the winter time of year, it's not a time I particularly like, even worse, living in England when we get rain, when it's cold, when we get frost, when it snows. But I was reminded when I was seeking the face of God that we mustn't despise the winter. When God gives us a season of winter, sometimes we feel dormant, we feel that things are not happening. We don't think, see things moving. We don't see signs of life. We don't see signs of growth. But what God is doing for us when we're in the winter season of our lives or the winter season of our time, we just have to be patient because we can't see what God is doing on the surface. But deep down, when I think of the, the bulbs that when you plant a flower, when we put it in the ground, we, we, we put it in with an expectation. When we sow a seed in the ground, we put it with an expectation to see a harvest. 
When we sow something in winter, when we sow it in the fall, we're expecting to see a harvest. We're expecting to see signs of life. We're expecting to see signs of growth. But in our winter time, it may not look as though there's any growth. On the surface, it may look as though nothing has changed. On the surface, it may look like the frost has set in and the bulb has died or the seed has died. But we know that when we are planted in God, that there is benefits. We know that we have a hope when we rise in him. We know that we have a hope when we are planted in God that we shall arise. Hallelujah. I don't know for many of you, but this last year, I've taken to my garden. Uh, because of lockdown and I've been working from home, I, I've had a lichen. I'm not a gardener. I wouldn't say before I was green fingered, but I, in the time last year, I decided and towards the end of the year that I was going to plant some flowers. I had time. I, I didn't have to commute to and from work. So I had time to sow some bowls in my garden. When I sowed the seeds in the garden, I kept looking every now and then. And I, I, you always hear that you're green fingered or you're not. And I had no clue. But I said, let me plant and see what God can do. So I decided I went to the garden center and I bought some bulbs and I, I planted them in the garden. And throughout the winter, there were times when it was snowing, when the ground was tough, when the ground was hard. I was not sure if they had died, but I patiently waited. Amen. And then when we talk about spring, when the spring came, it talks about in the scripture, the glory of the Lord. When the sun came and the earth had done its job and its duty, ah, the plants began to arise. It began to arise. And I wasn't sure if they would live or if they would perish, but the work had been done. And what I couldn't see that God was doing something way down deep in the soil. He he was making the roots grow. He oh, was yeah. making them strong. He was making them take stock and go deeper in the earth so mm. they can shoot up rise. So I want to encourage anyone, if you think you're in the dormant season of winter, the scripture declares tonight that the glory of the Lord is risen upon us. So we are told, yeah. daughters of Zion, that we must arise. As, elder, as our minister, our bishop, Raymond Williams also pointed out quite just a while ago, it doesn't say arise and shine, it says arise. That means we've got to be positioned. Mm -hmm. And I realized when I was doing some gardening last year, I had planted plants all on the same day. I had planted them in different positions in the garden. I had planted somewhere that got most of the sunshine and towards the close of the day, another area, but I just planted them in all kinds of areas in the garden. And what I realized that when the, the, when the earth has done its job and when the soil and when they've grown some depths in their soil and in their roots, when they had gone down into the soil and the, the earth had given them enrichment and food, I realized they all began to grow. But one thing I observed when they were growing, the sun was shining. They were all planted on the same day, but they grew at different times. It reminds me to say, brethren, the race is not for the swift nor the battle for the strong. Uh -huh. It reminds us, and I want to encourage amen, us, amen. that sometimes we don't think that we're growing. Sometimes we don't think that we've been productive, but God is doing something that yes. we can't see as long as we abide in the earth, as long as we abide in the vine. Yes. God was doing something. But what I noticed was some plants began to spring up very quickly. And some that weren't getting all the same amount of daylight, they were growing, but at a different rate. But I just want to encourage us today, don't compare yourself to anybody else. When God's glory is rising on you, when it's your season, you don't have to worry what's going on on the left or the right. 
when it's your season and God is ready to for you to arise and when as a prodigal son he says I will arise and we have to understand that we have to line up with the will of God and Amen. when scripture today talks about arise it means that we have to change our positioning we can no longer stay in a in a in a dormant position in a in a in a, in a vertical horizontal state and expect to be productive in order for all of us to be online this morning we had to arise out of our beds we had to get up and change our position we had to bathe we had to do what we needed to do but to be where we are arising and here online we had to do some preparation Amen. and god is telling us that for us to arise we have to do some preparation but when the times and the seasons line up with god's timing nothing can stop us when god, we sing so often when god gets ready we've got to move. when he gets ready when it's his time you see, we by man, we are bound by 24 hours on the clock. And the Bible tells us that a thousand ages in the sight is but as an evening gone. So I want to encourage all of us today, don't worry about what it looks like. Just know that God has his hands on us and that we mm -hmm. are to arise. But not only are we to arise, but we're also to shine so when I planted my plants in the garden, I planted all different colors because I wanted to see the beauty and the splendor of God's creation. I didn't plant just green plants. I, I didn't plant just shrubs, but I planted colors because I wanted the radiance and the glory. I wanted to appreciate God's creation. And so God is telling us, yes, we need to arise and be in the position but also we have to shine. He's called us to shine. He said, because he, our light has come. The scripture says, arise and shine for thy light has come. Yes. My light has come. Our light has come and the glory of God. That means his presence. When we speak of the glory of God, we're talking about a manifestation of the presence of God on our lives. So when we come, it's not our righteousness, because the scripture declares that our righteousness is as filthy rags. There is no good thing within us, but because of the blood of Jesus, because of the saving power of Jesus, the, the red blood that cleanses us from the sins and washes us whiter than snow it's because of his blood why we can arise it's because of his blood why we should shine because we were purchased by the blood of jesus it wasn't a free gift a price was paid for our salvation a price was paid so we could be the light in this dark world the scripture says that darkness has covered the earth and i don't know for anyone online today but we can say that we are in the closing days of time it's when the time when right is wrong and wrong is right when the enemy is convinced in all kinds of things but we know that we are the righteousness of god we know that we have been planted in the book of Psalms, it says we should be planted by the rivers of water, that we should bring forth our fruit in our amen, season. Amen, amen, amen. So that means we may not always be fruitful, but when our season comes, yeah. oh, we should bring forth our fruit in our season season because yes. god has commanded it so to be those are the laws of harvesting and reaping when i planted something in the ground i was looking for a harvest i was looking for flowers i was looking for food because i'd sown and when we plant something the difference between planting and burying a seed when we plant something there is hope and expectation yes. when we plant something we are looking for a harvest we are looking for a manifestation 
foundation of yes, what we planted. We are looking, when we plant something, we do it in hope. And when we bury something, we no longer look for any signs of life. When That's we right. bury something, that is the end. That is the close of the chapter because that is the end of the thing when we bury it. But thanks be to God, he planted us as trees yes. by the rivers of water. Yes. And that means he expects us, our leaves, not to wither. He yes. expects that our fruit should be fully be fruitful. Yes. We understand the laws of harvest. Hallelujah. I'm reminded of the scripture. When Jesus went to the fig tree, when he went to the fig tree, there were leaves on the tree, which was indicative that there should be some fruit. When mm -hmm. he went to the fig tree, when he realized that the fig tree had not borne fruit, um, he cursed the fig tree because it was in season. It was, it was supposed to bear fruit. It was a time for it to bear fruit. And it reminds me of the word of God that it says we must be careful that we don't have a form of godliness and deny the power thereof. Um, but when God sees us, uh, he invests in us he plants in us because he's expecting a harvest amen he said we should just not just arise but we should shine our presence should illuminate the dark world of sin. Our presence in the home should make a difference. Our presence in the workplace should make a difference. People should look on us and see there's something about that child of God. There's something even, sometimes they don't understand it's God. It's only when they speak to you that they understand and you share your testimony that it's the goodness of the Lord. What I didn't flip out when the manager was giving me a hard time it was the grace yes. of god on my life that yeah, kept yeah. me in that situation when our backs were against the wall and we should have given up they will say it was the goodness of the lord on our lives not our righteousness because the the the, 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 the scripture says that, that we are not we were born in sin we were shaping iniquity. In sin did our mother conceive us. Yes. But yes, yes. thanks be to God, he didn't come for the righteous. Hallelujah. He yes. Sinners to repentance. He Ooh. came for those that are in the pubs, those that are in the clubs, those that were on the street corners, those that were selling dope, those that were doing whatever. He came for the sinners. Ah, uh, when he came, he didn't go and hang out with the Pharisees. He was they called him a publican because he was hanging out. He was he was witnessing and showing his light. So that tells me I'm not sending anybody to the pub tonight for what I'm saying where you are you must let your light shine I'm, I'm not telling you as we say to go into the enemy's camp that's not our mandate but what I'm yeah. saying we have a mandate to arise and show the glory of the Lord because his glory has risen upon us we are the hope in this dark world not us but the Christ that lives in us, yes. we are his witnesses. We yes. must radiate the light of Jesus. We are the light of the world because, not because we're righteous, but his light has risen upon us. His yes. glory is resonant on us. His presence must be absolutely seen in our lives because his glory has risen on us. So we have to Hallelujah. make the difference the world wants to see. So that means I've got to change my position. I've got to change the way I speak. I've got to change speaking negatively. The word tells us that the power of life and death are in the tongue. And we've got to make sure we use our words and speak speak life we've yeah, got to make yeah. sure that we shine and that we are the presence of god that we are his hands and his feet so that when people see yeah. us they will know that we belong to the king of kings amen amen hallelujah there's a song i love it says if i say i love jesus but you can't see my jesus then my words are empty and they don't mean anything 
So God has called us um, not to be do hearers of the word only, but he's called us to be doers. He's called yes. us to shine. He's called yeah. us to, he's called us to, to be the light that the, the world needs. Mm. The world is in confusion. They are saying that there's no, they're, they're, they're having all kinds of discussions in the world, but we have to be the difference. Hallelujah. We have to be the manifestation of God's glory on the earth. Not us, not our righteousness, but we radiate the presence of God. So Hallelujah. it's not just something that we speak about, but it's evident in our lives. Yes, yes, yes. When you put a light on in a dark room, no matter how small the light is, it makes a difference. Yes. It illuminates what we can't see. And we can say, yes, the world, there's so much going on, but God has called us to stand up and be the light. You yes. might be the only one in your household. Be the light. You don't, don't be cursing your children. Don't be cursing your spouse. Don't be telling them what they shouldn't be, should and shouldn't be doing. Be the light. Let them look on your life. Let them look on us and say, yes. Yes, uh, truly I can see God is working but what the problem is sometimes we want to be pastors over our husbands and our wives and our children and we want to be preaching them but we're not living the life uh, but God has called us uh, not just to be sayers of the word but to be doers our children should see the light of God in our lives uh, they should see that mommy and daddy are not living dual lives they should see that they our children should see that us as parents that we trust in god and we amen. take him at his word amen there's amen. nothing amen. worse than them looking at us and saying you know what you are a bunch of hypocrites because you're saying one thing and doing the other but That's god right. has called us to be the light Yes, yes. He's not called us to be Bible bashers. Mm -hmm. He's not called us to, to curse people. He's not called us to put people down. But he's called us to be a light, to make a difference in our workplace, to mm -hmm. make a difference in the supermarket. Oh, Hallelujah. To make a difference. I'm not talking about just being in Glory the world. Because it might yeah. be easy. But the life that I live is what speaks for me. Not 45 minutes on Zoom, but the life that I live outside of this is what speaks speaks for us and so god is telling us our light has come so daughters of zion why has god told us to arise why has he told us to shine not just so we can look pretty and be bench warmers and be numbers oh when the saints go marching in i want to be in the number that's good and great but until then he's called us to do a work he has mandated us to do a work and i love uh, i love the scripture because it's because of the presence of the lord being on our lives that's what mandates us to do what he has called us to do and when i was reading in the book of isaiah i was drawn to so god what is our mandate why is your presence manifesting on me what is it you will have me to do and he took me to isaiah chapter 61 it says the spirit of the lord god is upon me because the lord has anointed me to preach good tidings now the context of isaiah 61 it says the first few verses it's not sure it's an unnamed prophet it's not saying it was isaiah that was actually saying it but it said it's an unnamed prophet oh. so what i would say to us today when it says the spirit of the Lord God is upon me, we're not talking about Isaiah, but when you read that scripture, call your name. So the spirit of the Lord God is upon K because the Lord has anointed K to preach the gospel. Put your name where it says me because that's what God has called us to do. He's called us to preach good tidings. I'm not talking about in a pulpit. Because not everybody has an, an opportunity to be in the pulpit. There's one pulpit with so many members. But God has told us to preach good tidings. We are, it doesn't say in the church. It doesn't say.
say to preach good tidings in the pulpit, but it says to preach good tidings unto the meek. The meek aren't only in the house of God. The meek live next door to us. The meek are in our houses. The meek are in our communities. The meek are in the families that we don't talk to, that we don't see. But he's told us to give good tidings. Amen. Good news. We've got to show them that there is hope in this world. Oh, yes. We've got to show them that whatever is going on in their lives, as long as you have Jesus, as the scripture says, we can rejoice in hope. He's told us to preach good tidings Hallelujah. unto the meek. He sent us, it says, to bind up the brokenhearted. Yes. And so many times we, we're scared, we're fearful, but we have to understand God, if he's called us, if he's mandated us, that means he's anointed us and he's appointed us. Too many times when God calls us to do a work, myself hands up too sometimes it's like me god me but if he's called us if he's anointed us if he's commissioned us that means he's given us grace for the journey grace for the task ahead of us yes. so if he's called you ah to minister unto the me let's not say not me mm -mm. that's not my calling leave it to the evangelist no 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 God has called all of us to be his ministers. He's called all of us to preach good tidings unto the meek. He sent us to bind up the brokenhearted, not to kick them down further, not to shake our heads and walk away, but he's called us to restore people. He's called us to restore broken lives and broken people. We may know someone that, 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 that's broken hearted and, and they've moved away from our circle. But if you're feeling that mandate that God has called you, he's empowered us to do it. He's told us he's with us. I remember when Paul was praying for something to be removed, God told him, my grace is sufficient. Now, I know that Paul was praying against some infirmity, but God is telling us if he has sent us, if he has mandated us, then his grace is sufficient for us to do what we would have to do. Hallelujah. Sometimes you don't, if someone's broken hearted, sometimes you don't have to come with much words. They just need to know you're there. They just need to know you're praying for them. They just need to know you're lifting them up before God. We're not all counselors and we need to stay in our lane. But what God has given us is a set of needs. We Hallelujah. all have needs that we can go into our closet Hallelujah. and shut the yeah. door behind us. And we can pray for the broken hearted. Yes. Ah, we can speak over them in our secret closets. We can, yes, as it says, yes, not yes, only yes, have yes. we come to bind the broken hearted, but to proclaim liberty to the captives. And we have to understand Sometimes we don't share our testimony. We have to let people know we were bound and captive ourselves. Mm -hmm. Sometimes we want it to look that I was born on the front pew as a minister's child. I was doing whatever, but no, 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 no. We were all born in sin and shape yes, and iniquity. Yes. We were all broken and disgusting and broken down. We were all at a place of brokenness. We were all bound in our situations. We had situations that we couldn't even call. I know for myself, there were times when I was so bound, I couldn't even pray. All I could do was cry. All I could do was pour my heart before him. But I know that he's a way maker. He will break the chains of bondage on our lives. But we must first come to him. It says, oh, he that are lost and heavy laden. And he said, come to me. I will give you rest. He said, take my yoke and learn of me. For my yoke is easy. And many times we want God to loose the yoke from us. And yes, it does talk about loosening yokes, but we have to ha take on his 
yoke. He said, my yoke is easy. That means he will be with us. He gave us promises. He will never leave us or forsake us. He told us he will never more than we can be. He said the battle is not ours. It is his. He said that we have to trust in him with all our hearts and yes. lead up to our own understanding. So he is telling us that we have to come. Yes. Uh, we have to, it says to, to bind broken hearts, to proclaim liberty to the captives and the opening of the prison to them that are bound. I remember when Lazarus was in the tomb and Jesus told him to come forth and Lazarus arose and he came forth, he came out. But when he came out, he was still bound. He came out, we can arise. But we have to shine, it says, that we the, 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 the prison doors must be open and we must come out of our bondage. God has put too much and invested too much in us for us to sit on what he's given us. He's invested too much in us for us to not shine and give God's glory. Let the dying world out there know that Jesus is real. His blood still works. His blood still works. And we can be examples and testimonies and we can show people that, yeah, we've been through difficult times. Yeah. Yes, we've been through struggles. Yes, we've had yokes, uh, but we say he's a way maker. Yes. He is a miracle worker. Yeah. He's a promise keeping God. Oh, yeah. There's a part in that song I love. It says, even when I can't see it, you're working. Even when I can't feel it, uh, you're, you're working. working. You never stop. Never stop. Never you stop. never stop working. Never. So God is telling us he has yeah. not written us off. Stop writing yourself That's off. True. Stop saying your season is past. Sarah thought her season was past when she was in her 90s and God blessed her with child. It's never too late. It doesn't matter about menopause or hormones. If God wants it to happen, it will happen. So I want to encourage us women of God, don't give up on yourself. Don't give up on yourself. God has not given up on us. The very fact we still have breath in our lungs, that means there's still something for us to do. Don't let nobody write you off. Don't let nobody look in your garden and say, I can't see nothing growing. I can't see nothing growing because God is doing a hidden work. He's doing something when we can't see it. He's working. When we don't feel it, he's working. But in order for all of this to happen, we've got to abide in the vine. We can't do this ourselves. We can't say I'm an island. No man is an island. In order for us to be what God has called us to be, we need to abide in the vine. We need to find our secret place and get our connection back with our God because the Lord has anointed us. Glory He's to God. Us. Hallelujah. It says to give the oil of joy for mourning, the garments of praise for the spirit of heaviness. Yes, 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 when we yes, go into a room, our presence should bring the joy of the Lord. I'm not saying we don't have crosses, but God told us that in all things, we oh, must yeah. give thanks because it is the will of God in Christ Jesus concerning us. So he's saying to us, children of God, women of God, Hallelujah. take the dust off, shake yourselves. One scripture that says, take the yoke from your neck because God has redeemed us. He has called us, anointed us, and appointed us. Our hour is coming. If the shoots are not coming up, wait patiently. One scripture said, I waited patiently on the Lord. It yes, tells yes, us the yes. battle is not for the swift or for the strong, but those who endure to the end, they shall be saved. 
daughter of Zion, brush yourself off, arise, show God's glory, reflect the presence of God where you go in your home, let your children call you blessed, let your husband trust safely in you, let your colleague call you trustworthy, let them say you have integrity, as long as we abide in him and he abides in us, oh, yes. we will bring forth, so yes, I just want yes, to encourage yes. anyone, if you've given up on your Yourself. redundancy yes. is not in the kingdom i've read my bible from i've read it from genesis to revelation not every scripture yeah. but i've never seen the word redundancy in the bible i've never seen where god cast anybody off i've never seen where he he, he there is hope for us as long as we have life once we transition to death there is no remembrance of god in the grave but once we have life we're never too old never too old to go back to school never too old to write that book never too old to do that thing that's been in you from a child but because of fear because of circumstances oh, yes. ourselves bound god said it, 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 it's not too late that's right Sarah gave birth in her old age she so doubted Hallelujah. she put in her own mm. plan that came back to bite her at a later stage but god is saying we just need to wait and to trust mm. him yes, I mean, if he yeah. says it he will do it oh yes, yes look yes, at yes. yourself well sometimes we are our greatest enemy Sometimes it's what we speak to ourselves is our greatest downfall. But I want to remind you before we speak negatively over our lives. I love the scripture, the word of God. In Psalms 139 verse 14, it says, I will praise thee for I am fearfully and wonderfully made. And one thing the enemy wants to do is to take our identity, to let us live beneath our privilege and forget who our daddy is. Oh, but yeah. I want to tell you today, our father Hallelujah. is Hallelujah. in heaven. Yes. He sent his son to redeem us. He thought you and I were worth saving. He yes. sacrificed his be only begotten son. Hallelujah. He sacrificed him for you and for me. So yes. we are worth it. L'Oreal yes. says I'm worth it, but I can Hallelujah. say we are worth it. God saw mm -hmm. something in us. Mm -hmm. He saw potential in us. When yeah, we yeah. gave up on ourselves, mm -hmm. he saw a seed. Mm -hmm. And seeds tell me there is hope. Mm -hmm. Don't look on the small seed. Don't look where you are now. I remember in November and December and January, I kept looking in the garden. But oh, you yes. see when April came and that sunshine came and the rain came, those flowers arose and they shone. Hallelujah. So Hallelujah. let me tell you, remember in our lives, there are seasons. Hallelujah. My pastor says, not everybody's dinner is ready the same time. Oh, no. I'm that for my pastor. Everybody's dinner is not ready the same time. If all my flowers bloomed on the same day at the exact rate, I, it would have been over in a bit. But some came early, some came in the middle, some came late, but oh, they all bloomed. So don't compare yourself. Someone says comparison kills. Sometimes we compare ourselves to others and we say, I should be further down the road. I started out with so-and-so and so-and-so -and -so is ahead of me, but uh-uh. Don't compare yourself because it's not your season. Just have to start understanding the seasons. So we have Hallelujah. to when it's our season. Lord. When and in seasons, you have summer, which is glorious and spring, but oh, there's an autumn when things start to wither and things start to look as though they've died. They Hallelujah. start to look that they're not going to work out. They start to look that they're failing. And then winter, every leaf is off the tree. Mm -hmm. There's not a green tree you can see. There's no leaves on the tree. All the leaves are Hallelujah. fallen. Everything looks dormant. Glory. But you see, right. when spring comes, hallelujah, That's right. nothing can stop what yes. God has done yes. in the winter and the autumn. When your 
season comes Hallelujah. when your dinner is ready nothing can stop you no Hallelujah. one can stop Hallelujah. you no one except yourself can hinder you because God Emmanuel is with us Hallelujah. the women of God children of God I want to encourage us when we're ready to step out when we're ready to arise and shine remember Isaiah chapter 54 verse 17 it says no weapon forms a terrible fire against thee shall prosper and every tongue that shall judgment thou shalt and death is in our tongue let's use our tongue to build let's use our tongue to build the ministry let's use our tongues to build the kingdom of god not yes. to tear down not to cause division because what we speak will come into be the scripture says as a man thinketh in his heart so is he so let's start to use what god has given us let's start to use our tongues as instruments to bring glory and honor to the kingdom of god let's use it to build the ministry let's use it to pray for those who are sick let's use it to pray for those who are weak don't step over me today because i'm weak because i shall arise amen don't step over someone because they're in a dark place because that's their preparation one scripture says it's in the valley he restores our soul not on the mountain he's the god of the mountain and in yes. the valley but it is in the valley yes. he restores he restores our soul yes. so women and men of god children of god if you're in your valley this help yes sir. hallelujah if hallelujah. you're in your valley if you're in your wilderness if you're in your winter there is hope yes mm. the prodigal son says i hallelujah. will yes. arise the prodigal mm. son he got all of his substance wasted all of his substance but he came to himself and he said i will arise daughters of zion brush the leaves off of brush the dust take the yokes from your neck and let us arise and do what god has mandated us to do in these times no weapon no weapon formed against us shall prosper doesn't mean we won't have fights we will get bruised and we will get wounded at times but god is still with us he says he will take us through the water yes. he says when you pass through the water i will be with you when we pass through the valley so coming to god isn't a get out of, uh, uh, of trouble card but it's telling us you're mm -hmm. still gonna go through it but the difference is i am with you people of god children of god let us remind ourselves that god is with us let us not be so quick to come out of our winter because that's the time when he is preparing us the bible tells us that we must rejoice in hope and be patient in tribulation so if you're going through you will arise say to yourself say to your soul i will arise because God's glory is risen upon me and we can do all things through Christ that strengthens us. Be empowered, be encouraged and shine and let your light shine and let the world know that Jesus is alive and well. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Glory. What a blessing. What a word. Hallelujah. 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 That was for me. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Lord. Amen. Praise you, Lord. There was something for everybody in the word Amen. tonight. Amen. Amen. There was something for everyone in the word tonight to be empowered, to be strengthened. Hallelujah. For you to take God's word and 
put more into it, build on it. Thank you, Lord. So that more fruit will grow. We bless God, hallelujah, for the word. We bless God for the word of God. Jesus. So it fit to send this word to us that we want to say thank you, Jesus. Thank Let's thank you, Jesus. Jesus. to God. Let's thank be grateful unto God in the name of Jesus. He is worthy, he is worthy, he yes. is worthy. Oh, Amen. hallelujah. Don't be like the soul when he goes out to sea. Don't let it fall on death. Thank Bro, you, hallelujah. Jesus. Hallelujah. Tony Brown, but let it bring forth fruit. Hallelujah, as the speaker said. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus, oh, we hallelujah. bless God for the woman of God. We bless God for his word. Come on and praise him, people of Because your word is life. Your yes. word is our Father, your word is bread for us, and we bless your name, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And at this time, I'm going to invite Elder Bentley, hallelujah, to do the altar calls to pray. If there be a soul that needs extra strength tonight, we're going to ask Elder Bentley to come and to pray and to call forth for those who want to come to the altar at this time. In Jesus' name. Come on. And Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to your name, Jesus. We bless you. Hallelujah. Give glory Thank to God. You. Amen. And for that which you allow his servant Hallelujah. to say to us this evening, yes. truly we are blessed by the word of God. It's Amen. at this time where you know, the word has been sown and, you know, our heart is a soil. And if there's anyone that's been listening to these words and they have come home to you in any way, if they've touched your heart or if in any fashion they have, may have spoken to you, then you can respond. Maybe there's someone in the chat or they've set up something whereby you can speak to someone and even ask for prayer. And truly we give God thank for the women of Zion because we often sing the song, Sons of God Arise. But it's not just speaking of men, it's speaking of women. And, you know, women are sons of God. Because in the kingdom Amen. of God, there's neither male nor female. Amen. As you've asked me to pray, praise God. Is it just for any of that may respond to the word or just a closing prayer? For the, for the, for the word, those who respond to the word, just for a prayer. Okay. We're going to pray for anyone that, whatever your circumstances are, the beautiful thing about God is that he can meet us at our point of need. So wherever we are, we don't even have to be uh, saved. Praise God, that's the most important one. You don't think because you're not saved that God won't hear you. And if you are saved, you know, God still knows our needs. So whatever it is at this moment, God is able, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Glory be to God. Shakai, Iko, Shakai, Shaka Mamai. We give you all the glory. Thank you, Holy. Iko, Shalai, Shaka Mamai. Thank you. Iko, Shalai, Shakai. Mike, Iko, Shalai, Shakai, Shaka Mamai. Ilo, Shala Mamai, Shaka Mamai. Thank you. Thank you. Eco shall I thank you, thank you, thank you, Father God, for the word, thank you for the light, thank you for that which eco shall I we have received of you, God. We pray that you would touch the hearts of each and every one. Some God, whatever their point of need is, we know that you're able, and so right now, we pray, God, that you will. 
meet them right now at that point, that you will minister as you pour in the oil and the wine, said yes. sweet Holy Spirit, my God, Eko Shaka Mamai, sweet heavenly dung, Shakai Eko Shalai, stay right here with us and fill us up with your love. We thank you for this word. We thank you for the service. And we pray that even as we leave, we can truly say it was good for us to be here. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Bless, bless the Lord, everyone. Hallelujah. We have to keep on blessing God. Amen. We have to keep on giving God thanks. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah, God. And truly, we want to give God thanks. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's just say thank you, Jesus. Can we thank you, Jesus? Thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, you know, this services conference today, truly God has been good. I want to thank, you know, the executive, hallelujah. hallelujah, and our pastor, Mother Richards, who has been with us throughout the planning and everything. We want to thank God for his presence. We want to thank God for everyone who came online tonight. Truly, God has been good. We want to thank God for the speaker, especially, hallelujah. And I pray God that God will continue to strengthen her. And this is just my thanks to everyone. Truly, it's been a privilege and an honor to serve you. And I just really thank God for everything that has taken place tonight. And I'm going to invite, hallelujah, our national bishop, Dr. C.T. Richards, to give the final, final vote of thanks. And hallelujah. to us off in prayer and benediction in Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hello, everyone. Hello. Yes, Lord. Amen. We do give God thanks tonight for his blessing to us. Give God thanks in the way that he had led, amen, the women, especially, amen, I said the women, although we are here worshiping with them, but yet they are the ones that have, amen, gone through the service. So we give God thanks, amen, for all those that have planned this service. And I know sometimes, amen, it can be hard doing this, especially when we are on the Zoom. But we give God thanks that God has blessed us together. Amen. Give God thanks for, amen, our president, amen, uh, Evangelist uh, Marcia Green, and the vice president, uh, Evangelist Gray, and uh, our secretary, Evangelist of religion, and also a coordinator as well, and then Mother Richards. I give God thanks for everyone that has come this evening, and just continue to do what you are doing, amen, in the Lord and for the Lord, and he will continue to, to bless us. I just want to say thanks to everyone that make it possible this evening, because there are so many services around, but we give God thanks that we have been here and enjoy ourselves in the Lord. Give God thanks Amen. for the preacher, Amen, who had allowed God to lead her, Amen, in the paths that He would have led her to go. And we give God thanks for her. Give God thanks for the word that comes to us, Amen that we should arise, shine, for the light is come and the glory of God is risen in our hearts. So we give God thanks tonight for all things. And those that uh, did not have come on, amen, let us pray for them as well, that God will bless them too, amen. And in every service that we are in, amen, we ask, we have got to do this because it's the will of God that if anyone needs prayer, amen, before we go, I'm sure that there must be someone that I've asked for prayer this evening. Make it known to where you are, amen. Maybe somebody will be there to be praying for you. Maybe you're in London, Sheffield, 
we made uh, Bradford Leeds, we made an, an, an Montpellier in uh, Stafford. Anywhere you are, just make it known to someone that even you need prayer and we will pray for you. Amen. And please remember also those that have gone back to the sanctuary. Please remember to that there's still a place of worship. Amen. And while you can make it to these places of worship, I ask that you do so, so that you can fellowship one with another. The Lord continue to bless you and keep you and keep us together in his stead. In the name of Jesus Christ, I just amen say a brief prayer as we close. Eternal God, our Father, the giver of life, the only potentate, Jesus Christ, the righteous, we give you praise and honor this night. We appreciate your goodness and your mercies towards us. We appreciate your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards us. Lord, we give you thanks for this service this evening. Give you thanks for those that have planned it. Amen. Spending time to do this. I ask you that you will strengthen them in all their endeavors, that they will continue to do the will and purpose of God. We give you thanks for the preacher that has come to us this evening, and we give you praise and honor for her, God, and continue to anoint her with your goodness, with your mercy, with your grace, and more all with your spirit. If anyone is on this platform at this time that is not well in body, we ask that you will touch them and that you will heal their bodies and heal them, their minds, especially in a time like this, so many things are happening to the minds of individuals. But I ask you that you come to them, God, and do something for them. If anyone needs prayer because they are not saved, I ask you, God, that you will touch such a one at this time. There's a place that they can find rest. There's a place that they can find peace. There's a place that they can find joy. So I ask you, God, that you will point them to a place where they can find refuge for their soul. And God, I give you thanks again in all things that we honor you and bless you. And we say thank you, God, in Jesus' name. Bless God. Amen. Bless the Lord. Amen. Amen. This time, we will pronounce the benediction uh, in Jesus' name. Bless God. Evangelist, we pronounce the benediction. Bless now, unto him who is able to keep us from falling and to present us faultless before the presence of his glory. Joy to the only wise God, our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and forever. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you. Be blessed of the Lord, everyone, and have a good evening. Hallelujah. Bless you. God 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 bless you.